You can call these folks the Iron Men of Baseball. I'm not supposed to be doing it. I mean, that's pretty much why I do it, I guess. Up next on First News at 4, the men out to prove that age really is just a number. Baseball is the type of sport that once you start playing, for a lot of people, you just can't stop. And while age can end some baseball careers, others just keep on playing. Come up for us, Mike Freire is here with more on that story, and I love this. Yeah, you never lose that fever to go out there and, and, and play. Just be a kid, go out there and, and, and play a sport. To some, age is that debilitating digit that limits your enjoyment and forces you into a chair. To others... It's just a number, like the one in the back of a baseball jersey. That's the way experienced, seasoned baseball players see it anyway. These men you are about to meet will inspire you and amaze you and make you feel like being a kid all over again. Are you ready? Nothing like baseball. Okay, guys, here we go. The Puget Sound Senior Baseball League Silver Foxes refuse to be relics of playing days gone by. Uh, we're all airplane because we love it. <laughs> Every team is made up of players 55 and older. A lot of guys here, including me, all base everything on you're only as old as you feel. I'm working on it, Bob. Age is a number. One. Out there in the middle of this green diamond, there's a battery that has been charged on a love of baseball for decades. Dick Fitzgerald and Ken Combs have an endless passion for the game Smile, that has kept them connected for over 30 years. It's been fun. I think it's a great relationship, you know, pitcher and catcher is a super important relationship to have. And they're just uh, great together. Thank you, boys. Dick has been hurling pitches at batters since he was a kid. His tireless arm landed him in the minor leagues, where his roommate was then 18-year-old Hall of Famer-to-be, Brooks Robinson. I saw a lot of good players. They were too good for me. <laughs> In 1960, a once promising career stopped short of the majors with the Rainiers. I uh, decided I'd better go to work for a living before they asked me to. All right, Larry, come on, buddy. While his big league dreams may have died with the Rainiers, his love for the game of baseball lived on. I'm fat. He's still playing. He looks good. Still throwing. At 76, I think it's great, don't you? Just a phenomenal, you know, he's a legend. Steering three. Impressive. I don't know that I'll even be able to play when I'm his age. I've been playing for 66 years, I guess, because wow. I'm a lousy golfer. On the receiving end for most of those pitches has been Combs. Nice play. No, I just always wanted to be a catcher. I hate sitting on a bench, and I'd, I'd like to catch every game if I can. The silence between the two on the diamond speaks volumes, pitch by pitch. Nice so I think we think along the same way most of the time. How to pitch to somebody and how to get them out. Nice pitch. And they work together well. They relish in each other's success and feel each other's pain. Both have had knees replaced by the same doctor. Ken had his knee replacement in December and he was back playing by April. Touchdown, that's big hit. Baseball players know they can't play forever. Nobody can. But for these two who have an eternal passion for the game, Forever always seems to be only 60 feet, 6 inches away. Nice job, Dick. Nice job, man. My age, I do it because I'm not supposed to be doing it. I mean, that's pretty much why I do it, I guess. Dick and Ken deserve some attention for what they've done for baseball. Kenny, good job. Good job. Good job. Because at their age, to continue to do this is amazing. Nice job on the mound. And it will give hope to all young people that play baseball that they can play for forever if they really want to. Now the Silver Foxes finished their division as Love champions. They, they were champions of their division, so you'd be sure they'll be back next year. And, and you know, and I know, we have the best photojournalists in the country working at the station. Doug Pigsley was the guy who shot, shot that story, that. edited it, put it together. He, he, he deserves some praise well, he's because he spent mean, a lot of time out there. He's got a mean passion for baseball. He sure too, does. He so. loves the game. Just like those guys. Good job. Thank you. Thank you.